So I'm going to share with you guys uh, five add-ons that will help you kick some class with Google Slides. So let's jump right in. Okay, guys, so first of all, I'm using this presentation that I have open right here that I used for my last video on some quick tips and tricks for Google Slides. If you didn't catch that, uh, check it out right there. But um, the first one that I want you to, to see is right up here under add-ons. Uh, there's a bunch of add-ons. You can see the ones that I have installed. And not all of these are actually just for Google Slides. Some of them are for Chrome. And uh, their extensions are, but there's still things you add on that help kind of improve your slides mastery. Okay, so the first one I want to talk about is Moat, and you can actually see it right up here. Now, Moat basically allows you to record audio and add it directly to a slide. So if you want to record some instructions for what students are going to do, and you want them to kind of have that ability to connect with you in this virtual environment, that can be really powerful. What I'm going to do first off is just click on Moat, and it says record your Moat. So you click to start and say, here we go. <clears throat> Hey guys, so uh, in this particular slide, what I want you to do is to find a picture of some type of crop, and I want you to crop the crops. So uh, those are your instructions. Thank you. And as you can see, while I was going, now it's thinking. Uh, you had a certain limit of time that you you know, could record for. Uh, I only used 10 seconds of it, and it says ready to insert. You can listen to it, you can delete it, um, you can go back and do it again, or you can insert it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it, because I don't need it. All right, and then I'm gonna close that out. So that's the first one, which is Mo, really powerful, especially if you wanna give students feedback on work that they've submitted in any uh, slides presentation. Number two really needs no introduction, and it's Pear Deck, and you can see it right up here. If you don't know what Pear Deck is, um, just go ahead and push that rock off of your, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but I've done a ton of videos, a whole playlist on Pear Deck. It's really pretty awesome, whether you use the free or the paid version. And under um, add-ons, once you actually go down to Pear Deck, you'll see right here, which you can add for free, um, you need to open the add-on. Now, if you use it often like I do, it may already be open in your toolbar right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And it opens a panel on the side that allows you to add pre-made slides for feedback with students. You get a dashboard. I've done a ton of things on Pear Deck. Uh, it's really a great way to, to create student-paced lessons, uh, to do get feedback live when students are in the room, you know, formative assessment, social emotional check-ins, all sorts of things in here. There's a template library, you can add questions on the fly, whether kids are drawing or directing them to a website, responding with a number if you teach you know, math or science or even social studies, if you want to give them a choice, all sorts of things. These would be things you add to slides you've already created. Timber Library, I use this a lot for um, Notice and Wonder, which is sort of a next-gen science standards. In my classroom, I might throw up an image and say, hey, what do you notice about that? What questions do you have? What do you wonder? And then we, we initiate sort of an inquiry-based conversation with my students. I love Pear Deck. Uh, if you're you know, interested more, check out that whole playlist up there. It's really pretty awesome. So that's number two is Pear Deck. Okay, so number three is a pretty cool one. Uh, it's called Slides Randomizer, and you might want to use this if you generated a list of like vocabulary terms and definitions and you want to randomize those, or like I did today, I have a friction inquiry lab that I'm working on with my students. I don't really care what order they work on the stations, so I might want to randomize the tasks that they can do. So again, up here in add-ons, uh, you go to Slides Randomizer, and you would just install that, and there's a couple of options. Let me close this Pear Deck and get it out of the way. Uh, so one thing I really like is to automatically randomize the presentation when the students open it. So if you use Google Classroom or Canvas or some other LMS to share a presentation with students, but you want them to get maybe a randomized practice set, you put your instructions on slide one, and then you can randomize it as it goes. If you are doing vocabulary, you know, a term and definition, then you might want to randomize pairs. If you want to give kids sentence starters in ELA, uh, then you could just randomize the entire presentation. Whatever comes up is what they have to use. So it could be a really powerful way to mix things up, have a little fun, um, and just to give the kids a, f a feel that, you know, not everybody's getting the same experience, which I think could be pretty cool. So that's number three, Slides Randomizer. 
All right, so the fourth one is adding icons. You can see down here in the slide that I've added some icons from uh, Flat Icon. They're free, and I've used these a couple different ways, but there's a way to do it right in a Google presentation. So if you want the kids to put you know, an icon in there, maybe they're building a logo for a mock business, you just go up here to add-ons and you add this insert icons for slides. Okay, so I'm gonna open that sidebar up. And you're gonna notice that you have a couple of choices in here as far as where they come from. But these are all basically public domain. You can change the color of the icon up here. You can search, so let's say I want you know, something a little more blue. And the one that I'm looking for is a, a cow, I don't know, a cowboy. So there we go. Uh, I used a cow in my last video on how you can link these things. But let's just say I wanna put a cowboy hat in there. And when you click on it, I'm just going to insert it right into your slide. So whatever kids want to use, if they, you know, they're looking to draw diagrams and represent it with something or build a logo, great way to teach some of those skills um, and give kids pre-made things to use. So uh, that is insert fonts. It's pretty cool right here under add-ons. So there we go. Insert icons. I'm sorry. Okay, so the last one is actually not in Google Slides, but it is an extension that you're going to use, and it's called Go Full Page. Now, this one I'm going to hop over to my Friction Inquiry Stations. So one of the things that I did is I went up to View, and I changed it to Grid View. And then down here at the bottom, I used the plus and minus to get them side by side. So you can see that I have my station guide, station one, and a summary. I can move these around to get them how I want, but let's just say that I wanna print this entire thing to send off to students. Now, I don't necessarily mean print to paper, although you could. Uh, this little guy, up here is right there this little camera icon it's a chrome extension called go full page now i really think this is great for google slides but you could use this for anything else when you click on it what it's going to do is it's going to scroll your screen down it's going to stitch all those screenshots together into one image file you can see it's working on mine right now and then it's gonna give you one image. So you can right click this, you can zoom in, but if you wanted to share this with students, maybe um, just so that they have the whole presentation in one image file and they don't have to go through it all uh, as notes or maybe they wanna cut it out and make flashcards, whatever, it could be a really great way for you to organize and just take a screenshot, maybe you wanna archive stuff. Um, I find it really useful. I use this all the time for articles that I want to put into a Google Slides presentation and then like have the kids read and respond to it. It's just a great little tool. All right, guys. Well, I hope those five extensions, add-ons for Google Slides is really going to help you kick some class uh, this year and beyond. And if you really like this video, go ahead and click that. Share with somebody you think could benefit from it. Um, but also check out some of these other videos that I have on Pear Deck extensions, Google Slides, and anything else. They're really there to help you uh, master this technology thing in a way that fits your style, helps your students, and is just all around awesome. So we'll catch you next time.